dazzling and diplomatic. Meghan wows in a £1,095 caped gown by a London-based designer in the blue of Fiji's flag for her first black tie event of the royal tour, teamed with glittering diamonds. The Duchess of Sussex dazzled in diamonds and a full-length cape blue dress by designer Safi at black tie reception on the first night of her royal tour in Fiji. Her spectacular £1,095 outfit, worn with her hair down, was by German-born designer Daniela Karnutz who is based in London. Her website says she specializes in chic timelessness and modern elegance. Guests, diplomats, local business leaders and the cream of Fijian society, gathered for the champagne reception ahead of the state dinner at the Grand Pacific Hotel where the royal couple are staying during the visit. One guest said the light blue dress was clearly Fijian blue as a nod to her hosts, proving Meghan has mastered the art of diplomatic dressing. The royal accessorized the dazzling evening look with glittering diamond drop earrings, which Kensington Palace has confirmed were borrowed for the occasion, but would not specify if they've come from the royal family's collection of jewelry. Meghan's full-length short-sleeve cape dress and stretch-heavy crepe showed off the beginnings of her neat baby bump. Meghan has mainly showcased designs from Canada, America and Australia during the royal tour, but tonight she gave a nod to her adopted home by choosing the London-based designer. She also ditched her signature unstructured buns to wear her hair in loose waves around her shoulders and opted for a more glamorous evening look for her makeup with heavy blusher and smoky eyes. As the couple entered the reception room there was a drum roll, before they were announced. They then went circulated the reception meeting local dignitaries. Earlier today, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were presented with the gifts as they watched a ceremony in Albert Park in capital Suva to welcome them to Fiji. The couple waved to the crowd as they arrived in their motorcade to the Vircro Carvi Vacavigno, which mirrors the one attended by the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh in 1953. Harry and Meghan were greeted by chiefs in a tradition known as the Tama. The crowd, slightly damp from the rain shower or a bit of blessing as the master of ceremonies put it, cheered and waved Union Jacks and Fijian flags as the couple arrived. Hundreds maintained reverential silence, with only the occasional burst of children chatting or a nearby clock chiming, heard over the rhythmic drums and chanting of the ceremony. Harry and Meghan sat on a stage as he was given the whale's tooth, a sign of wealth in the Vakasabu, before he were given kava, a drink made from a mashed plant root in the Yakona Vakachuriga. Harry, his three medals catching the floodlights, looked on as the kava was made with the root wrung out and a bowl passed to the duke on the stage. He accepted the bowl and held it to his lips as the crowd cheered. Rain began to fall again as the lavo, a presentation of food of a roast pig and a basket of dalo, a root vegetable like a potato, was offered to the duke.